Hi everyone, this is Johnny Onos, and I'm playing Project Zomboid version 35.12, and in this Let's Play episode, we're going to continue looting the south until we get another house alarm. Uh, so we just looted most of these trailers. We're going to go check to see if we've uh, thoroughly did our job. Let's get this hammer back into our bag here. And uh, we've cleared out most of the most of the trailers down here. Uh, we were lucky enough to uh, find a trailer that was boarded up with a ton of non-perishable food. I went and created a crate inside of the warehouse for us to store some of that ill-gotten goods. And uh, we're still on the search for carpentry books as well as maybe a sledgehammer. A sledgehammer would be really great right now, which would allow us to get into places like the storage facility over there as well as doing some more complicated building. Like, you can't put a roof unless you have a sledgehammer to remove those stairs. So let's uh, see if we can help the zombie with this window here. Yep. Just keep banging on the window while I'm trying to open it for you. Alright, well, I guess I'll smash it. Alright. And uh, the, the zombie population down here is uh, quite light, given that we've done a good job of uh, migrating most of the zombies to the north. We had two house alarms go off in that area. I'm just doing a quick look around the building here so that uh, none of them creep up on us. No house alarm here, which is nice. Any toilet zombies? Nope. Not at all. And because the power and the water has been shut off, um, it's always a good idea to collect as much water as you can while you're looting so that you can... Oh, oh, oh my, look at all that stuff. You know, you want to collect as you go because each one of the of the water-given giving objects can uh, provide up to three water until it runs out. Two frying pans, very nice. Wow, this uh, place is pretty bare. Pretty boring. Okay, moving on. Let's see, is there another trailer that we might have missed? Any trailer that we might have missed? We got a zombie over there. But no, no trailers. So we're going to keep heading east. Because uh, I seem to remember there being like a... Um, kind of like a hunter's spot or like a, a little cabin to the east. Kind of where the break is in the trees we're going to continue headed east here and uh see what we can find uh there was a shed that i walked past on the way over to the south that i really like to take a look at i really really need to find a welding mask so that we can finally start doing some of this new uh newfangled uh metal working stuff because apparently you need a um what, like a, a welding torch as well as a uh, welding mask? I think it's called blow torch. Uh, we'll, we'll find out. I think we already have the torch. Not exactly which, where I put it, but it's probably in one of our safe houses or maybe the main safe house. I'm pretty sure I saw one or two of them already. Good lord, that is a small bathroom. All right, we got some cabbage. We need that. A frying pan, always good. Another cooking pot. No matter how heavy those are, those things are worth it to pick up. Vinegar. Very good. All right. That looks like that for this spot. Is this a... Uh, oh, it's a TV. All right. That was uh, pretty uneventful as well. Let's keep heading this way towards the two... Whoa. Oh, my. Someone, uh, someone perished. Wonder which way the uh, zombies are going. It's funny every time you get kind of relaxed, something something always happens. Something always happens in this game. All right, let's. Um, this house looks pretty pristine. No windows are broken. Let's try the door. Okay, door is open. Keep that open. Place looks extremely pristine. A uh, single w uh, window is broken. 
Uh, this door is open, though. Small hiking bag. The doors in here. Those are always the scariest, where there's a door that's open. You can't actually see into the room yet. This is like, oh god, is there going to be like three of them in there? But uh, no, we're lucky this time. Nothing in the drawer. First aid for beginners. I know I have that one because I've read it while we were nursing our wounds from the uh, the two scratches from the window. All right, another frying pan. So many frying pans. Tomatoes, don't need those. Potatoes, we definitely need those. Anything in the fridge worth taking? Anything. Butter, good. Milk, even though it's rotten, we can still use it for um, ease here. Let's uh, have that for breakfast. Some frozen, crunchy, crunchy peas. All right. So this house is done. As you can see, like, all that crazy zombie migration stuff that I do is actually really paying off here. I'm only, like, that's the first one we've seen so far in this whole area. I love being proven wrong, too. This game has a really good habit of doing that. Where it was just like, yeah, feeling real safe. And you, you jump over a fence, like a tree line, like like what we see over there in the north. And then all of a sudden there's like hundreds of them. All right, let's go ahead and get into this house here and see what we can find. This looks like an abandoned or a uh, sold house. No, it doesn't. Never mind. Doors open. Another pretty pristine house. Don't hear anything going on. Check in the back. Check in the bedroom. Wow. All right. Okay. I got no problem with an easy day. Uh, metal working for intermediates. We'll pick that one up. I know we, we actually have metal working for beginners in our inventory right now. I was reading that to uh, spend some of that. Ooh, here we go. Expert carpentry. That's what we need. That's what we need. We needed that. Very good. Get nothing else. A processed cheese. Oh, it's still a little getting a little stale. But yeah, mission one complete. All we need is one more carpentry book. Um, mastery for carpentry. And then we're done with carpentry. And all I got to do is just tear down some houses, apparently. Like, oh, got some uh, activity going on over here. Are they banging on the door? Yep, they're banging on the door, even though the window is wide open for them. All right, let's uh, let's just try opening the door for them. Yep. I know I've been getting so lucky with these doors either being unlocked or we just have the keys for them. But given that there's some zombie activity, that's another one. <laughs> It's actually kind of good just to kind of close it and see if there's a zombie there rather than what I just did where I just kind of walked through it. Like, la la la. All right. This will be a great place to tear down all the furniture. Electricity for beginners? I don't know if we have that one yet. It'd be another good one to read while we're uh, kind of futzing around in this area. Uh, it's very cramped in here. Reminds me about of the, uh, the the homes that are to the north. All of them are kind of built in this really cramped way. All right, canned beans, another kitchen knife. Oh, we're already full up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring this stuff back, and then uh, we'll reconvene right back at this house. Let's see you guys when we get there. All right, we're back at the house that we were looting. Let's go ahead and uh, collect all the things. Got some sunflower seeds, which we'll eat right now. Let's get another extra can opener. I'm not exactly sure how many of those we have, but I'm pretty sure we don't have one in the um, in the warehouse. Another box of cereal. God bless you, cereal. Another kitchen knife. God, we got like three now, I think. All right, let's see if I remember to look in here. I did. Great. So let's uh, keep on moving. 
Keep on moving north. Let's see if there's anything to the east. I'm pretty sure that's the end of it, yeah. All right, I think the shed that I saw on the way to the warehouse earlier is over here. Or maybe a little bit. Yeah, there it is. Great. We'll go ahead and get that after we loot these two houses here. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to... I might have already looted this place. Let's see if we did. Because this one's really close to the... Um, the two-story houses. Yeah, it looks like uh, Johnny has been here. Double check. Oh, God. I'm like right here, and I still can't see that angle. Driving me nuts, game. Driving me nuts. Yeah, I think I've been through here. Get an extra water bottle just because... And it reminds me to fill up my other water bottle. Mm, is that 13 or 1.3? Okay. Don't need a roasting pan that that uh that that weighs 13 kg kilos. I use the right slang when I'm playing a game with the metric system. Kilos, right guys? You'll help me with that. You'll help me with that. All right, let's just check this one. Pretty sure I've already been here. Given that the door is open. But knowing me, I tend to either freak out or get some cigarettes just for the... um, because cigarettes are delicious. All right. I in no way condone smoking cigarettes. Don't do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. All right, looks like we got some adhesive bandages here. That's good. All right, let's on, head on over to the shed, which I'm a little bit afraid that I've already looted, given that I've looted these two houses right here. Maybe I've already taken care of. Both of the uh, windows are intact. Door is locked. Interesting. I must have already tried that window at some point. Yeah, this is probably not going to work either. Yep, I tried it. Couldn't get in. And uh, walked away, apparently. A little zombie apocalypse forensics right there. A hammer. A hammer. That is all. That's very sad. Okay, moving on. Uh, let's see. So to the north is the two stair the two story neighborhood. Uh, would be nice to kind of swing by the safe house over there to see how it's doing, but uh, we could really use some more stuff. Like, um, really need to find that uh, carpentry mastery book. Uh, definitely still waiting for that um, welding mask. We got ourselves some zombies over here. And there is a pretty sizable neighborhood over here that we haven't touched yet. So we may luck out, but um, I don't know. I really wish there was more hardware types like shops in the uh, south part of the map and mold raw. Ugh. Failed. Alrighty, that's a bunch of zombies dead and more coming out of that house. Let's take them apart. Train for some axes. Train for some baseball bats. Anything. I don't know. You got a pretty steady stream of these uh, kitchen knives. Oh, talking about steady stream. There goes one more. We got like three on me? Yep, I sure do. Three. Whoa. Someone was creeping up on us. He did. So given that there were so many zombies coming out of there, let's um all over the neighborhood real quick. Yeah, I guess there was just like a ton just inside that house. Let that guy go. There he is. Hello. Hello, sir. Just doing some uh you know, house housekeeping? Housekeeping? 
No toilet zombies. It's getting kind of dark. My perception is not great. Mm, yeah, let's get that. Ooh, good stuff in here. Some rice. Unfortunately, it's pretty heavy. Lighter? Nothing wrong with a lighter. Let's, um... Yeah, we'll wait till later. I think we have a lot of, like, cereal and other easy-to-eat. Imperishables. Let's see. Anything else? Nope. Nope, nope. Got some popcorn in there. Let's check this. Magazine. Sheet of paper. It's a closet? No. It's quite dark. More cigarettes. Wanted a lighter, too. All right, so it looks like we're gonna have to call it an early night, given that we're um, and we're we're next to two safe houses right now. I've I've visited the the doctor's office quite a bit, but I think we should try heading on over to the two story one that we have. Let's go do that. Let's just see how it's doing, and then maybe kind of uh call an early episode just to see how everything's going over there because we haven't spent a lot of time there i mean we built it out originally uh, i think it was one of the first safe houses that we built out so there could be a good good amount of food there still i mean we already have some on us but we're good but uh, it'd be nice just to check it out see if it got overrun and see if we have to clear out any zombies because i was thinking that It'd be nice to have a farm area and maybe a trapping area that we can just grind out the skill on. Like, it, it's kind of, I don't know, it, it always feels kind of strange whenever you've built a farm that's way too big and if you if you've built it out for grinding, but then you're, like, left with this gigantic farm to have to, like, keep maintained and, and uh, keep safe from zombies. It'd be nice to, like, have, like... Now, as you can see, there is a lot of open land right here. Not to mention that the wilderness is right there. We, you know, cut down a couple trees. I think this would be a great place to just grind out farming. Like, make a make a stupidly gigantic farm. Like, ridiculously huge farm. Actually, let's, um, let's do a perimeter first of the house. See if there's any open doors or any open windows. No, looking good. Looking good. Both of our ropes are still there. I've, I've been hearing reports of people losing their ropes from zombies, but I have yet to uh, I have yet to see that happen. I guess it's because I'm so careful about whether or not zombies follow me to my safe houses or or whatnot. But um, yeah, I haven't seen that happen at all yet. All right, let's just check. Oh, we did a good job looting this place. Really dark. I know this house pretty well, though. But you never know. You never know. You never know. I'm, I'm just taking a look at my um, I'm cooking for beginners. Farming magazine, obviously, already read. Just looking at my experience points. Oh, did you see that? If uh, your experience points go down while you're stealthing inside of your house... That means there is a zombie nearby. Just hasn't noticed you. And apparently I haven't noticed it yet. But let's see what we've got in here. So far, so bad. There we go. Got some pickles. We need some pickles. Mortar and pestle. That's actually kind of a rare item to see. What else do I have in here? Ah, oh, lots of stuff. This is this is uh yeah, this is a pretty good haul. All right, let's go ahead and play management uh, inventory management game. And uh, yeah, let me go ahead and um, stop the episode here. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get kind of settled in at this, uh, or actually our first safe house. And um, maybe start to plan out what we're going to do with like, kind of like a grinding farm and maybe um, doing some grinding. For, I mean, we do some grinding with carpentry and because we have that last book, but we would definitely need to, to kind of situate and consolidate the books that we have to make sure that um, we have everything we need to be able to 
grind up carpentry, cooking, farming, and then maybe trapping. I know their books are foraging now, which is kind of cool, but I don't I don't know if that's something that I want to like actively grind. So yeah, let's just get all this junk in here. Uh, I mean, did I did I do some real organization here? I don't see any items. I see lots of food. But I don't see any items. I might have... Oop, what was that? I've never seen salmon that looked like that. It was burnt. Did I cook something in here and then forget about it? Oh my. How naughty. I got, I got a couple things in here now. Eh. Alright, well. Let me go ahead and play inventory game. I know how much you guys love watching me do that. Uh, so yeah, I'll go ahead and end the episode here. And we will kind of start to plan out what we want to do with a grinding farm uh, grinding um kind of a uh, trapping area and then maybe kind of do a quick trip to the north to our main um safe house to see what books that we need to get but i think we still got to do some more we definitely need to do some more looting because uh we obviously don't have the carpentry uh carpentry books yet all right folks so this is johnny on nose and i'm playing project zomboid version 35.12 Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about Project Zomboid or any of the other games that I support, please go ahead and leave a question in the comments below. All right, folks, see you all in the next episode.